Hello friends, welcome back to Moonspell Tarot. Today we are doing a pick a card for all the single people out there. I think right now a lot of people are, you know, able to go back to work, getting to go back to their normal lives somewhat. And so um, a lot of people have romance and relationships on their mind. I know a lot of people were, you know, single during this quarantine. They're feeling lonely and they feel like they have some, you know, things they want to work out and maybe meet someone new. So I thought that this would be a fun pick a card to do. I've been seeing a lot of signs, um, you know, people talking about being single and, you know, friends of mine, seeing like things just online. I've been seeing a lot of uh, single topics um, come up. So I just thought that this would be fun to do. So today we're going to do it a little bit different. Instead of having, you know, pre-selected piles, I have different decks. So for the pile number one, we have a double uh, terminated clear quartz, and this is the Angels in Abundance uh, Oracle deck. Uh, we have a raw, chunky, smoky quartz, and this is the Enchanted Blossoms deck. For pile number three, we have this beautiful gray labradorite. This is the Vintage Wisdom deck. And then for pile number four, we have this Chevron Amethyst point. And this is the Inner, oop, this is the inner Goddess deck. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to go ahead and pick whichever crystal or even deck is really calling to you. And there will be timestamps down below for you to uh, jump to to pick your section. All right, I'll see you then. back pile number one so this is if you chose the clear quartz so before I jump into the cards I just wanted to remind you all to please hit that subscribe button it really helps me out a lot and leave me a comment and let me know if there's any videos you would like me to do okay so again this is the clear quartz and this is the angels in abundance oracle cards I really like these so we're gonna go ahead and shuffle and just kind of pull where we need to Oop, that one wanted to come out so we're gonna leave that out kind of just let them fly out at me or you know sometimes if I've been shuffling a while and no particular ones I kind of just wait till it's right so who is pile number one are they single for any particular reason are they involved with anyone should they be involved with anybody um, oops, we'll leave that one out what is their dating life like are they new in a relationship? Have they been in a relationship for a while? These cards are kind of hard to shuffle. And they're like kind of glossy. <laughs> so we might do one or two more. So we'll see. Okay, that one I think wants to fly out at us. So let's do a few more because this is, I think, kind of complicated. I think, oop, okay, that one definitely wants to come out at you. So I think for a lot of people, you know, right now this time is just really hard. So I think that this is you know, a good one. So this will be our last one. So let's put that to the side. We have clean energy food, declutter, power of prayer, words of abundance, and sever vows of poverty, and no more complaining. Okay. So let's just kind of look at these and kind of read the cards to kind of get you know the vibes I'm probably not going to read all of them just because they um, they're pretty obvious what they mean but I kind of like to just read them so first we have clean energy food when you feel when you fuel your body with healthful organic diet you increase your energy levels and ability to focus this automatically leads to more efficiency and then declutter you'll feel better and more focused if you take the time to clear away what what is um, living in your workspace, power of prayer, uh, give this situation to God for uplifting and healing, words of abundance, you have the ability to inst instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words, sever vows of poverty, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice, hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime and no more complaining complaints are affirmations of victimhood which is never true to spirituality take back your god-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom okay so what i am feeling is that 
you know, especially the last couple months, because they've been really hard, I think, on a lot of people. Um, you know, you maybe you've been eating very poorly. You've been really kind of self-deprecating and um, not really taking advantage to do better during this quarantine. And not that that makes you bad. I think a lot of people have done this because especially when you, you know, go out and work and everything, it's really hard to just be at home all the time. Or maybe you were an essential worker and you're working a lot and you're just not really taking care of yourself in a good way. So what I'm seeing that before you go out and really, you know, start dating and really start uh, putting yourself out there, it would be good to really, you know, declutter, uh, declutter your life and um, you know, kind of get rid of what's binding you. So maybe you've gained some weight that you're not happy about. You maybe have, you know, done a little bit too much shopping during this quarantine. There's a bad habit that you've picked up. And I feel like the cards are really telling you to get rid of that bad habit and, you know, leave it up to God. Or if you're spiritual, you know, give it up to the universe to help you fix your problems. Don't just sit there and wallow in the way that you're feeling because that's not really you know, beneficial for a relationship. So I feel like also maybe with what's going on that you've done a lot of complaining, a lot of self-deprecating, just been very like unhappy about the situation, which is understandable. But now that we are able to go out more, it's spring, it's beautiful outside, you know, it's a happy time of year, all the flowers are blossoming. So I feel like you really should limit how much you're complaining. You know, start off small, say, you know, maybe if you find yourself complaining all day, limit yourself to like 10 minutes or if you're just really frustrated and you need to just get it out and slowly, you know, let it out to where it's not a constant part of your life. But what I'm really saying, though, is that right now you're going through a hard time and that you, you know, you want to date, you want to get out there and meet somebody. But what I'm saying is that you really need to, you know, declutter your life and, um, you know, sever po uh, vows of poverty is very interesting too. So, you know, let go of what is holding you down in order for you to do better and speak positive thoughts so you can do better and you can feel better and you could go out and find a good mate. Because I think, you know, what the cards are telling us is that when you are sad and, you know, upset, you're not going to attract a great partner. You're, if you're feeling good and you're looking good and, you know, you're in a positive mindset, you're going to find a better partner. When you're feeling that negative energy and you're always angry and complaining a lot, you're not going to attract a good person. So I think that it is important and, you know, um, extremely essential that you declutter your life and just do better. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, uh, gain a little bit of weight during this quarantine. I think everybody has, but you know, really just work on yourself and then, you know, just give yourself a little bit of time, you know, just to do better, you know, start working out, start going for walks, eating healthier, feeding your body with, you know, positive energy, fruits and vegetables. Um, you know, don't eat a lot of candy and stuff like that. Really feed your body positivity. Talk positively about yourself even if you wake up and you can see you know you're not happy with what you see point out something every day that you like about yourself you know say my hair looks nice whatever I think that you really need to speak kindly upon yourself and goodness will come your way and you will find a good person so next we are going to do the pendulum and so I think we're just going to ask it you know a couple little questions just to you know um back up what the cards are saying so it just needs a second to kind of get tuned in show me yes show me yes so yes is back and forth show me no okay no is turning in a circle so I'm gonna ask it a simple question just to make sure we're in the right direction do I have an orange cat yes <laughs> do I drive a truck no okay I don't drive a truck okay should pile number one start dating somebody right now? No. Okay. Should pile number one work on themselves? Okay. See, it's starting to go back to yes. Is pile number one ready to find somebody? Yes. Okay. Okay. So is pile number one very depressed? Yes. Can pile number one work on themselves? Yes. For pile number one, will they find somebody? Yes. Okay. So 
again, even with the pendulum and the questions, I think that you can, or the cards, not questions, I'm sorry. Uh, I think that you will find someone, but again, I feel like you really just need to work on yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have things we need to work on. And I feel like you will for sure find somebody. Just take a little bit of time, you know, you know, take a couple of weeks to drink a lot of water, you know, stop the complaining, speak positive words about yourself and you will feel a lot better. So thank you, pile number one. I appreciate you watching the video. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe and let me know if there's any videos you would like me to do and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number two. This is if you chose the smoky quartz. Before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to say, uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know if you guys like these type of videos. And also leave me a comment if there's any questions you would like me to ask, okay? So again, this is for the smoky quartz, pile number two. So we are just going to go ahead and start shuffling and kind of see what cards pop out at us, see when it feels right. So for pile number two, should they be dating? Should they wait? Who is their ideal mate? What is going on with pile number two? I like these cards. They're really easy to shuffle. <laughs> Pile number two. Okay, so we'll do one. We'll do a few. Who should they be dating? Who should pile number two be seeing? Are they ready to date? Have they been single a long time? What's going on with them? Okay. And one came flying out at us and it fell on the floor, so I'm going to grab it real quick. Okay. Ooh, that one came flying out at us. Okay, so we have five cards. So, Abundance, Elegance, Truth, Beauty, and Spirituality. So, I am seeing a lot of very positive cards here, which is great. So, I'm thinking that, what I'm feeling, because I'm seeing an overwhelming abundance of abundance of happy cards, um, a lot of positive messages. So what I'm feeling that during this quarantine, you really took a lot of time to work on yourself, your mind, body, and soul. You, you know, potentially went through a bad breakup. You went through something bad not too long before, you know, we were all put um, under the stay-at-home order. And so I'm feeling that you really worked on yourself and you took a lot of positive actions to do better. And so now you're ready to go out and find someone. So I'm feeling that you have a lot of love, an abundance of love. You're really, you know, elegant and beautiful. You really, um, you know, maybe took this time to go on a diet, start exercising, working on yourself. And so especially with the spirituality card, I'm seeing that you really worked on yourself spiritually and mentally and that you, you know, really took that time to feel better everywhere and not just, you know, uh, you know, losing weight or working on something physical, I think that you really took that time to feel better spiritually as well and work on your mental health, which is great because, you know, staying at home can be hard. So good for you, girl, if you could, you know, make your mental health better during this time. So yeah, I'm really seeing that, you know, during this time, you really discovered a lot of truths about yourself. You really worked on yourself. And so you're ready to go out and find somebody because you're having this overwhelmingly positive vibe. And I'm really getting that from your cards, which is great. Because I think, you know, after this time, a lot of people really struggled with it. But I'm seeing that you really did better during this time, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and ask the pendulum a few questions. So I'm just going to ask it. A couple questions to get it tuned and then we will be on our way it just takes a second show me yes okay yes is back and forth show me no okay no is a circle is pile number two ready to date okay yes did pile number two work on themselves spiritually 
Does pile number three feel better about themselves? Did pile number three go through something bad during their, um, before they were quarantined? Yes. Should pile number two um, start looking? Should pile number two join a dating site? Yes, okay, that's interesting, a little bit different. Will pile number two find somebody at work? No, okay. Should pile number two go out looking for somebody? Yes. So what I'm feeling is that you will, you know, most likely meet someone online. It's probably not somebody you know, somebody that you will, you know, maybe um, meet online, meet out, you know, partying or whatever you like to do. Probably not partying if you've been working on yourself so hard, but, you know, maybe out and about at social gatherings. So pile number two, I'm really getting a lot of good vibes from you. So I feel like you've really just been working on yourself, doing really good. And so that's awesome. And so I think that you will find someone very soon. Just keep on working on yourself and keep on, you know, giving off these really great positive vibes and you will find somebody really awesome. So um, thank you so much, pile number two, for watching. And again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I hope to see you soon. Welcome back, pile number three. This is for the Labradite crystal. So before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to uh, remind you to please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know if you guys like these type of videos. And also, please don't forget to leave me a comment down below if there are any uh, questions you would like me to ask soon, and I will do that in the near future. Um, so again, this is if you chose the Labradite. And so we are just going to go ahead and shuffle. And we will... Oh, okay, that one just wanted to fly out at us. So these cards are kind of big, so they're a little bit harder for me to shuffle. I got small hands. <laughs> so pile number three. Should they start dating? What's going on with them? Should they find someone online? Should they start going out looking for a partner? Are they ready for a partner? How, oh, okay, that one flew out of this too. How long have they been single? What happened to them? Why are they single? going on with pile number three okay So that should be good. It's helpful. Okay, five. There you go. All flew out at us really easy. So let's kind of take a look. What's going on with you, pile number three? So we have beauty. We have ancestors. Okay. We have shadow self. We have choice. Okay. And we have trust. So let's kind of take a look at these. So what I'm seeing potentially is that during this time and maybe even beforehand, you have a lot of responsibilities, especially with the ancestors card. What I'm seeing is that, you know, maybe you pot uh, potentially take care of a family member. You have a lot of responsibilities with your family. You know, you could work at your family business, take care of somebody, take care of a friend. Something like that is what I'm seeing is that you really are taking care of somebody and that really makes you a beautiful person because you really care about others and you really um you know are wanting to take care of people and you feel like that's your responsibility so that's what I'm really feeling with those two cards but I'm also seeing that you have a you know a shadow self a darker side and that you feel like you have to make a choice and so I'm feeling that with your responsibilities of, you know, taking care of family, doing things for your family a lot. It might not even be living with someone and taking care of them, but, you know, maybe a family member just needs a lot of help, and so you're always doing things for them. I'm seeing that you feel like you know that you might have to stop doing that, that you have to, um, you know, let go 
of that person and let go of what's going on or maybe not even let go completely as in cut off communication but stop doing everything for them because they feel like you feel like you're wrong for having to do that and you don't like to have to make this choice so what I would say for yourself is trust yourself and trust your sh uh, shadow self and look into how you're feeling and really make a decision you know maybe if you're constantly taking care of somebody constantly doing things for other people you're not really able to take the time for yourself so you really want to go out and date and meet somebody but you have this inner conflict I'm seeing and so um, you know I feel like that is you know very powerful in these cards and so I'm seeing that you're a very beautiful person and that you really have this conflict but you're just you know you're really having a hard time with how you feel so I think we're gonna ask the pendulum a few questions because that's you know helpful so I just have to ask it a couple questions and then we will get going just to get it tuned in show me yes Okay, so yes is uh, back and forth. Show me no. Okay, so no is a circle. Do I have a black cat? Okay, so yes. Do I drive a silver car? Yes. Do I have a white cat? No. Okay, so now it's going in a circle. Should pile number three start dating? Okay, so it's yes, but it's not doing a big swing, so maybe we'll come back to that question. Is pile number three ready to date? No. Is pile number three taking care of a family member? Yes. Is pile number three feeling bad about their decision to date? Yes. Should pile number three start dating? Will pile number three eventually find love? For pile number three, should they wait a while before they start dating? Yes. For pile number three, will they have to cut off ties with what is binding them? Yes. Okay. So, what I'm feeling, pile number three, is that you just really have a hard decision to make. You really are struggling with that decision, and so I feel like what the pendulum is telling us and then what the cards are telling us is that you really have to trust yourself and look inside yourself to make that decision because no one can make it for you but you need to be happy and so I feel like you're really just gonna have to look into your inner self and really do some hard work on yourself and kinda give some other people some tough love as well your ancestors or whoever you're taking care of you know give them that tough love and let them know like that you have to live your own life and so I'm really feeling that message strongly that something is holding you back from finding love and so I feel that you just really need to trust in with yourself and look into your shadow self and really um, meditate on how you're feeling and what you want in life because you don't want that you know taking care of somebody and them depending on you for everything and not depending on themselves or you know even if you have other people that can help you take care of them don't just do it all yourself so I really feel like with what the pendulum said you will find love you just have to get over this hump that you are in in life and so you will get there just give yourself some time especially after this quarantine you know it's been really hard take this springtime to you know do better and really start manifesting the type of life you want think about it and really um, you know work on yourself and tap into that shadow self and it's not wrong to have that shadow self a lot of people think that that is a negative thing but really think about what you want and you know in the card artwork we could even see a woman looking up at the moon and kind of gazing up at the moon manifesting her future and thinking about what she wants really tap into that and you know think about what you really want in life because you don't want to be you know given up your whole life just to help other people because you deserve to be happy too so what I would say pile number uh, three is I would just really you know work on what's going on find help with what you can do for that person and really um, you know find someone to help you or if you have to cut ties cut ties because you don't want it to become a toxic situation then you can never find love so I think that it could potentially get really bad where you never find love so I would just really work on yourself tap into that shadow self and manifest the life you want 
So thank you for pile number three for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And leave me a comment down below if there's any questions you would like me to ask. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number four. This is if you chose this chevron amethyst pointed tower so before i jump into the cards please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it really helps me out a lot and lets me know what type of videos you all want to see and also don't forget to leave me a comment if there are any questions that you would like me to ask okay so again this is for this beautiful chevron amethyst and we will go ahead and start shuffling and then we will also do the pendulum if we need to so for pile number four who are they? Have they been single a long time? Are they ready to date? Who should they date? Why are they single? Did they have a bad breakup? How long have they been single? It's a lot of questions. So we we'll do one. We'll do probably about five or six cards. We'll see. Oh, that one wanted to fly out at us. Who is pile number three and why are they single? That one wants to fly out of this. tend to stick a little bit. Okay, so five. Okay, so let's see who you should be seeing, pile number three. So we have Daring Dreamer. We have Magdalene, you are stronger than you think. Okay, be there for you. Soul Sisters, two hearts, one soul. Okay, and then Psyche. Okay. So let's just kind of think. So I'm seeing that right now, you know, especially with the Soul Sisters card, you really have somebody that you depend on. And that could be a good or a bad thing or, you know, kind of a combination of, of you know, both. Maybe like a really strong friend or your mother, sister, somebody, a woman in your life that you're very strongly bonded with, someone that you really get along with. And... They might be going through a hard time mentally, so you're there for them a lot, and you're really, you know, always doing for them a lot, and so it kind of weighs you down, and so I'm feeling that with being there for other people, your psyche is also lowering, and you are kind of having a hard time with that, but what the cards really want you to know is that you are stronger than what you think, and it's okay to do your own thing, so especially with this Daring Dreamer card, it says, change the way you see, not the way you look. So what I'm feeling is that you are really dependent on someone else and they might also be very dependent on you. And so, you know, your connection is really tight, which is great, but don't substitute that for love because there's different types of love, obviously with friendships and then a, like a sexual relationship or a romantic relationship, it's completely different. So, you know, don't let that stop you from finding a romantic partner. You know, maybe this person that you're really good friends with, they kind of, uh, you know, make you nervous because they might potentially, you know, have gone through a bad relationship themselves. So they constantly talk bad about men or whoever they date. And so it kind of scares you into relationship. And so I'm feeling that maybe you have not had a lot of relationships and you are dreaming about finding a romantic partner. You really want to find someone and be happy. And so I feel like that's really important that you, you know, reach out and find somebody else and find, not find someone else, but find another partner. You know, I think that that's really important. And, you know, you can still be friends with this person, but don't let them drag you down in that way to where you're not, you know, finding your own thing. Don't let them take over your psyche and take over your mind. So we are going to ask the pendulum a few questions. So I just have to ask it a couple yes or no questions just to get it tuned in and then we will get started. It's very quick though. Show me yes. Okay, yes is back and forth. Show me no. Okay, no is a circle. Do I have a gray cat? Yes. Do I have a white cat? 
No. Is my husband's car blue? Yes. Okay. So for pile number four, are they ready to date? Yes. Okay. For pile number four, are they attached to somebody at the hip? Yes. For pile number four, are they feeling very sad about their situation? Yes. For pile number four, will they have to cut ties to who they're friends with? Okay, no. For pile number four, will they have to set boundaries in a friendship? Yes, okay, that's a very strong yes too. It's rocking very hard. For pile number four, can they find love? For pile number four, since they seem to be a bit shy, should they start online dating? Yes, okay. So what I'm feeling with these cards is that you're very shy. You really want to go out and date, but you feel very attached to your friend. Maybe they've been single for a long time or been in a bad relationship and you don't you know, want to go out there and make them feel bad. But what I'm feeling is that you have to be happy with yourself and you have to have your own life. And so I'm feeling that you really should go out there and do something for yourself and be happy. So I'm feeling that you would, you know, have to set some boundaries in that relationship, just like how I asked the pendulum, set some boundaries and don't, you know, allow other people to control your life. You could still really care about that person and be great friends with that person and share a big chunk of your life with them. But don't let someone else drag you down to the point where you never find love and friendship because I feel like you can get there. You are a daring dreamer and you really do want to, you know, find someone and you're stronger than you think. So you really will get there. And even with the psyche card, you know, even though that normally means that you are struggling with how you feel, the artwork on the card is very beautiful. So you really are a deep thinker and you really, you know, care a lot about other people. And so channel that energy into caring about yourself because you will find love and you will get there. Thank you so much pile number three for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, I hope to see you guys soon. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And also leave me a comment again. I want to know what type of questions you guys want me to ask. And, uh, you know, things that you want me to do on this channel. I'm very open to new ideas. You know, doing the pendulum, doing charm readings, any type of things you guys would like. Just let me know. And I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.